Hi there, students. Wreck. Wreck. Okay, wreck can be both a verb and a noun. To wreck or a wreck. Okay, the first main meaning of a wreck or to wreck is when a ship is destroyed at sea, it hits the rocks and goes down. Yeah? Okay, a shipwreck. Yeah, is a common phrase. Okay, so the prestige was wrecked off the Spanish coast and caused a great deal of uh, pollution. We can also use wreck meaning to destroy or to severely damage a building, a vehicle, something like that. So, um, I crashed my car and it was a wreck. I wrecked my car. Okay, so destroyed completely, to spoil completely. Um, builders have a wrecking ball. It's a big metal ball hanging from a crane and they use it to smash up old buildings which they are um, taking down. Yeah, so they wreck the building using a wrecking ball. We can also use wreck as a verb meaning to spoil something, to spoil completely. So the heavy rain wrecked the picnic, destroyed, spoiled. Um, his bad exam results will wreck his chances of going to university. They will spoil his chances. Okay, a wreck can be something that is in grave need of repair. Yeah, it's just the remains of something that's been destroyed. So there were the wrecks of several cars in the barricade outside the city. This house was a total wreck when I bought it. Yeah? Okay? So that it's something in bad condition. A person could be a wreck as well. So they're in really bad physical condition or they're in bad mental condition. He's <coughs> a nervous wreck, yeah? Um, he's, uh, he's a wreck after he fell off out of the window and he broke many bones, okay? So he's a wreck, yeah? Um, he wrecked his physical health, okay? And as I said, he's a wreck after working so hard on this project yeah or he's so stressed out that he has become a nervous wreck yeah a person who's very 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 nervous so there you go to wreck a wreck so a wreck a ship that has been destroyed at sea a ship that was wrecked on the rock the Torrey Canyon was wrecked near the Scilly Islands. S-C-I-L-L-Y. Um, a building could be a wreck. The building was a wreck after the fire. Yeah, The building was completely wrecked by the fire. And then to spoil something, the rain wrecked my picnic. The, um, uh, yeah, the uh, bad exam results wrecked his chances. A wreck, something in grave need of repair. Or maybe a physical wreck. Uh, he's a physical wreck, he needs to do more exercise. Or he's so stressed he's become a nervous wreck. Okay, apparently this word comes from Old Norse, reka, which means to drive or to push. And I think it's the idea of a, a ship when it sinks, bits of it are pushed up on the floor, on the shore, like flotsam and jetsam. Yeah, you can look those two up. Flotsam and jetsam. So, what about formality? 
Well, I would say to wreck is a neutral word. Yeah, um, you could use it most certainly in an informal conversation, but you could also use it in an academic writing. So it's a nice versatile word. And remember, it's a regular verb, okay? So I haven't done anything yet to wreck the video. Well, I could knock the camera off or I could forget what I'm going to say. Yeah, maybe those things would wreck the video. Or maybe somebody could suddenly come in and start talking to me. That might wreck the video as well. So there you go. Enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating. Subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you soon. Bye for now. Wreck. A shipwreck. A nervous wreck.